<laughs> We're seeing the destination as the golf ball. It's not. We're swinging a golf club. That's why practice swings look great because you took the stimulus of the ball out. So you're not hitting a ball anymore, you're making a swing. Continuous movement. Isn't We're it? doing the same thing here. Watch this. If you've extended and your body mass is back here, all you've got is this left. Look at that, that's the killer move, you see? Yeah, yeah. That, that kills it. Because yeah. what you've done, there are no straight lines in golf, yeah, yeah, exactly. are they? Yeah, yeah. What we're seeing here, right, Liam, is your early release. I'm going to roll this ball, yeah. and you're not going to hit this one, you're just going to get ready, but you're reacting to this, ready? And go and brace. Look at that. Now, that's where you'd be to hit this one. So now take your set of this ball, and just explore that space that you reacted to with the one that was rolling. Secretary on the oh. phone. <laughs> Brilliant. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> How did you freeze? I've got to take my hands. I've got to the ice. <laughs> Where's it aiming me? Wherever you come, I can have a look. And then you can move it wherever you want. Let's put it at the 150. Also, it's not aiming you anywhere. So the thing is, right, this could be like that. So this is where we want to be. Yeah. If that was that board, that should make a difference. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be. I don't know why. I know. It, and so what we're going to... And the T position. So, I know. And it does. And the crafty. Yeah. Right? It's the same way they angle a green. Mm. So all greens aren't sometimes straight. They do that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yes, they're inviting a certain shot, but they're playing with you. The green might be right to left, and what they do is they bank it up on the right. So on the eye, it looks like this, but when you get there, the green's like this. Yeah. There's some really crafty things they can do. The tee box being one of them. Sometimes it's intentional, sometimes it's, it's not. But what's here, there are no straight lines in golf, yeah, yeah, exactly. are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these kind of things, you're absolutely right, because the first thing what do people do on a driving range is, they look at the mat and they square the mat up. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Do you know I've what I'm doing? Myself. What I'm doing, times, right? yeah. if, you can, if you can change the mat, Skew it. Get used to it being in a different place every time you practice. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, twist this there, twist it there. Challenge yourself so that peripherally you're not conforming to these constraints because they're not, these aren't conditions. Yeah, yeah, but we good. start to look at them and again, it becomes almost part of our um, alignment system. So we can see... A little bit of range. Yeah, and clinch. So... It's a really good tool, this. Ah. <laughs> Finger the yard! Ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a sec, guys, because that's just told us everything. So you've two shots, and that's just told us everything about what you were explaining earlier to me about your two-way misses, but it could go amiss, okay? So you try to maybe shift your... Yeah, that's exactly what, there. as soon as you said that, I thought consciously about trying to hit in front of the ball, and that's obviously so, changed, so one, you, exactly. that's changed one natural movement pattern. So you try to get that, what, that mark, yeah. after the ball? Yeah. Okay, and in doing so, you thinned it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, very, it's like, very so, very so the question was, what would you do next? In your mind, you try to play forward, what happened? Yeah. You thinned it, right, so, what we know we've got here is low point. Say that is where we're going. Yeah. Yeah, this is our low point. Okay. Right, okay. Yeah. Now, there's the low point, yeah. look where the path is, if my low point's there, it's starting to go left, can you see? Yeah. Now, with a driver, it's yeah. shallower. And then think of all your irons, three wood, hybrids, then six, seven, eight, pitching wedge. Look at that, it gets less, so you get to something like this way. Yeah. There's less vari variability, so yeah. here, less deviation, should I say. Now, if I shift the low point forward, now look at the angle coming into the golf ball. Yeah. more into out. This is a really, really tricky way of controlling your path. Yeah, yeah. But this is a lot more consistent. What I'm doing is I'm just changing the orientation of the low point. Think of the low point as being a point that can go up and down, front and back, and you can twist, you can rotate. It's three-dimensional, okay? So, if I move my low point over here and rotate it, Suddenly I've got this. That's too much, but if I bring my low point somewhere here, closer to the orange line, I've got this. Take the low point the other way, and what have I not changed? I've not changed my contact with the ball. 
But if I'm doing this, some are steeper, some angle attacks are shallower, that low point's moving front and back, I'm gonna get <clears> difference <throat> in stripe, different in spin, distance, loft, fade path, sometimes a draw path, all the misses, basically. So what we've got to do is we've got to recognize how we orientate that low point, because what we're actually doing is we're not swinging to a golf ball, we're catching a golf ball, we're compressing a golf ball, we're striking it on its way to the low point, and then it's continuing past that low point. So we're just, there's a destination. Often, we're seeing the destination as the golf ball. It's not. We're swinging a golf club. That's why practice swings look great, because you've took the stimulus of the ball out. So yeah. you're not hitting a ball anymore, you're making a swing. It's a continuous movement, isn't it? We're doing the same thing here. So we've got a low point that's a bit early, so it's a shallow angle of attack. So my strike started about here, didn't it? Mm. But I was happy with the golf shot. Yeah, yeah. But what we're saying is that because of my strike being behind, it leads to plenty of different shots that are consistent. So look where, you, look where you're striking it. Yeah. With an eight iron. So this is a steeper lie angle, steeper swing, which should be up here. Right, okay. And that's through getting the better strike. And that's one. an eight. Your longer clubs, it's it's okay for your longer clubs. If you were on a on a tight lie with an iron, that might not be as comfortable as say if it was just set up a bit. It's just that the moving it forward and getting the compression back leads to a more consistent flight. It, yeah, because this golf club is designed to be struck like that. Mm -hmm. Look where the handle is. This yeah. needs to strike the golf ball like this, but it's doing this. So look where that is compared to where the ball is. So when you see all these guys on TV, you see everything line up afterwards. Yeah. It was like this when they're striking the ball, and then this rotates like this big time. But this is travelling first, and then it rotates. Most of us are rotating this too early. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So now the low point, if I drop it, it's further back here. Yeah. And I'm striking, I'm, now I'm fighting to get this action further forward. <laughs> and it's thrown my arc out, so I then I have to start shifting it more out. So I'm having to move it out, direct everything like what you just did, but perfectly well now, because you're able to do it. Yeah. We're going to start to look at the upper body, so now, we're going to rock this from side to side, so there's no rotation. Don't think of a golf swing. Yeah. So this number three just goes side to side. Can you see? Yeah. It's not twisting. It's yeah. not leaving me. Yeah. It's the wrecking ball. So it's just side to side with the upper body. Let's try. It. Arms oh, straight. We look at the big two over there. Yeah, the just there. The shoulders more with it. Arms straight, just a bit more underneath, the, just underneath. <coughs> it's only a half swing, and now it's more upper body. So, swing, hold it there. Swing back. Yeah. So this is too much rotation. Okay. We want. So if you just put that three there. Yeah. Now that swing back. That's rotated. Okay. So we need to swing back. We want you to be able to do. Swing it, swing it, swing it. This. All oh, right. Okay. So, so it's a tilt. That's it. So you keep. There we go. So it's a side bend of the left oh, side. Feel and the right side. Yeah, yeah. This needs to come last. So swing back. Keep it up there. Don't move it. Yeah. So you're going to come forward. Right. And then you can swing it now. Swing okay. it. Then you, your shoulders lead back. There we go. That's it. Still so, yes. Yeah, so, so what most people do. <laughs> <laughs> so what most people do is to do this. They move everything together. Yeah. So the problem is now. I can't recognise what's moving when because everything's moving together. I can't dissociate at all. Yeah. I don't know what's moving this really, everything is. So if I had a golf club in my hand and I did this, the whole system's moving at the same time. And as I'm swinging the club down, look at my shoulder. Yeah. It's going up and up and up. Yeah. We've got to appreciate how low we can actually go with this. So here, this is really, in golfing terms, swing terms, this. Okay. This looks kind of strange. This looks strange, okay, but it's, we're looking at frontal plane action. I've not added rotation yet, or much real extension or flexion. If I put a bit of flexion in and rotation, suddenly that, that looks more recognisable. This is not a position, by the way. What we're just appreciating is how low we've got to go and how much we can use this action. Because when I combine that with rotation, now I've got my low point. Now I can use my feet. Without this, I can't use my feet. So if I did try pushing, and I've got this action, it's game over. If I just try and shift, but as I'm shifting, this is going up, it's game over. I'm gonna keep going back to where I was, even though I'm trying lots of different things. So nice, easy half swings. These stay straight yeah. and just tilt these up and down. More up and down. So you've been used to rotating so much. Yeah. Okay, and then just lifting your arms, basically. Right. As opposed to 
you've not been used to using this okay. side bending because no 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 start again just go really slow really slow really slow it's this uh, you gotta that's it arms straight and then it's now you can shift the shoulders so you, you bump across with the upper body it's all upper body this so shift across <laughs> that's so weird yeah shift across <laughs> yeah and so to, wanna, this is why we're here what we're seeing here right liam is your early release if you love the coaching and want to experience the effects of the training that you see with our pupils you can purchase the grfi system yourself by following the link in the video description you'll get all the equipment and a two-hour download covering all the fundamentals exploring your movement and how you can use the ground and create those all important ground reaction forces and transfer them through to club head speed and experience the gains that you're seeing in the videos yeah 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 that's what we see so it's no no let Nigel have a go, and then I'm going to show you a different way of doing it. We'll get it straight away. So swing up. Now this goes, keep your arms straight, yeah. push them away. Yeah. That's it, just there, that'll do. Let's go to your just push them away. Yeah. Now, drop. No, 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 right, okay. No, no, keep your arms high. Keep them up. Don't have to open up here, just one sec. Just drop down. There we go, that's it, over here. Drop into there. So I want to go. Yes. Down, down, down. Arms stay up. Yeah, down, down, down. There we go, you've got to crunch there. That's good. Now, you, yeah. That's good, now stand up to swing. No, no stay, yeah, 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 yeah. stay left, so drop. No, no, no. So you're, you see, you're so used to doing this and yeah. shifting through yeah. here that this just reacts this way and it just throws you back and it's an early release. So you've got to go, think a bit more top heavy. There we go, now stand up to swing your arms. That's it. So here we yeah. drop. Yeah, foot no. No, okay, yeah. So, I'm so used to this. Wow. So what, this is brilliant because what we're finding, what, what this does is when you start to look under the bonnet and go into the nuts and bolts of it, you start to find the, look at that, that's the killer move you see. Yeah, yeah. That, that kills it. Because yeah. what you've done, what's happening to my left leg as I do this? Right. It's straightening. Yeah. So I've got a club that's back here. It's like throwing a ball right and I'm back here and I've straightened my left leg. I can't now. I've got no extension left. So basically I've used up, by swaying, sliding the hips, what I've done is I've used up all this extension that I need to push. Yeah. Whereas when I'm here, now I can use it. So what we've got to do, shift a lot further in front of the ball. We've got to try and get you as far in front of the ball without rotating. Yeah. So it's this way. You can get as far in front of the golf ball as you like that way. Whereas yours goes, it starts to go up again. <laughs> Start again. Do my head. <laughs> yeah, it will at first. Just come back on there. Yeah. Just do it one handed. So you're going to put your left hand on it. Yeah. You swing your left arm back and you keep it up there, but you drop your left shoulder. So you just drop your left shoulder in towards your left foot. Swing it back and drop. That's better. Good. There, yeah, yeah, as low as you can with your left shoulder. Yes, that's it. Good. And then hold it, drop, drop, drop. Now spring. That's it. So use it. So swing back. Now don't move that ball. Swing it back. Do not move that ball. Keep it still. Yeah. This. No, no, you move the ball. Swing back. Now so swing back. It's okay. Yeah. Now let me just guide you. Yeah. Okay? We're going to use this. Yeah, yeah. To tap that. So just move that down. Just tap that. Don't need that. <laughs> that again. There you go. There you go. That's it. Right. So I'll get that again. bit then. Hold it. Yeah. Now hold it there. Yeah. Stay on the left. See so you're not on the left. Stay on the left. Good. Now now just stand up on your left leg to swing it through. That's it. Good. So you drop, that's it too early. Yeah. So this is this is the early release, that's all. Yes, Liam. Good. Well done. Now, when you watch this back on video, it's going to make so much more sense because you're going to see the movements you're making and they're not extreme. Right, so it, it feels, a lot it feels like very Ooh. extreme. Yeah. And, and you're thinking, oh my God, this, this is top heavy. What's this like? But actually, you've just, you've just been a good opposite. So for example, just pop out here. I'm going to roll the ball. You have to move your feet to go and hit it. And at the moment, you feel yourself get ready to hit it. I want you to stop, okay? Just let the ball go. Don't hit it. Just let it roll past. But imagine you're going to hit it. Go. Hold it. Yeah, you swung. I don't want you to swing down. So you'll go. Ready? As soon as you feel ready to, to go, stop. 
There you go, look what you've done. Hold it there. Uh, you did it. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what you've done is, you've trained this out of your body in golf. You've trained it out there. But I think in the golf swing, you've trained it out. So it's just coming up then? Then you just go up, you see. See how low you can go this time. Ready, go. Hold it. Look at that. Now hold it there. Look at that. Right. Now spring and take a nibble. That's it. Very it's good. So different. It's that. so different. That's flexions to extensions. I'm going to roll this ball. Yeah. And you're not going to hit this one. You're just going to get ready. But you're reacting to this. Ready? Okay. And go and brace. Look at that. Now that's where you'd be to hit this one. We're not going to hit it, but okay. different feeling. Yeah. So now take your setup to this ball and just explore that space that you reacted to with the one that was rolling. Look at that. That was awesome. Look at that, did it? Different feeling? Yeah. And look, there you go. Up here. So you've gone, so you've delivered it like that. I'd have that swing in the summer. I'd have, I'd have that shot in the summer, never mind now. <laughs> that was fantastic. Nice. What are you feeling different there, Liam? It just feels, um, I don't feel like I'm compressing it. I just feel like better, it's a better trajectory, isn't it? I yeah, mean, yeah, it's lower. Straight away. I don't even feel like I'm hitting it, to be fair. I don't even feel the contact. You're using your body mass better. Yeah. Yeah. So your body mass was so far behind the ball, you'd use your extension, right? So watch this, if you've extended and your body mass is back here, all you've got is this left. It's crazy that I couldn't get it that up there, but as soon as you put it in like a, a kind of golfing term or an athletic term, more from how I think about it, I got it straight away. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I was... Your body wanted to, yeah. So just moving forward, think about how you apply the information you receive yeah. in your golf swing because if you're thinking it in golf swing terms you're probably not going to connect on that athletic level yeah, yeah. you're not going to recruit it the way you need to yeah, kind of instinct. yeah yeah so it's kind of so but you but the reason we've done that is to conceptualize it so you know why yeah, yeah. and then you can let yourself react with just natural movement it's what your body did to load then with the intention of whacking the ball yeah, it'd be interesting to see on the video how it looks when i'm in that position yeah uh, you'll like it yeah, I hope so. Yeah. You'll like it. Look at that. That's fantastic. Look what that produces, look at that. Just a nice little tight draw, isn't it? Yeah, that's awesome. Completely different swing, dude. I don't even think I've ever been in a different swing. It's like all one motion. It is, isn't it? As opposed to be segregated arms for being fired like. Oh, yes, look at this. Yeah. Different sound as well, isn't it? Yeah. Flight strong. You can see it's got less spin. That's nice. Look at the finish as well. That's awesome. Little draw. Get the handicap secretary on the floor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Feeling good with that? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. The other thing you can do is get some of this spray. And just do this. That was awesome. Shot. Wow. You missed. Nice you missed all that and you caught it exactly. That was unreal. Back here. Well, that was like there. That was, you didn't even. Like, it, was that, it was that brilliant. You took a little divot out of the grass. <laughs> <one. laughs> it's clipped to the edge of the green stage. Again. Shot. That is brilliant. That is so different to where you started. Right, let's grab the drivers. Have you got some tea pegs, guys? Because we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll probably go outside. Let's stick it on the top.